Let's take a mental journey through the universe at the speed of light. In a second, we will orbit the Earth seven times. In two seconds, we will get to the moon. In four minutes, to Mars. And in five hours, to Pluto, the farthest planet in the solar system. It will take four years to travel to the nearest star. It will take 2,300,000 years to travel to the nearest galaxy, and 20 million years to the next galaxy. And there are billions of galaxies ahead. God created the universe so big to show that flights in our universe are physically impossible, and that we are His only beloved children in the universe, whom He settled in paradise on Earth. According to the laws of physics, it is impossible to travel in our universe at light speeds. As your speed increases, your mass increases as well. When you reach the speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second, then your mass becomes infinite. And for the movement of an infinite mass, infinite energy is needed, but it doesn't exist in the physical world, only God has it. Many people believe that it is easy to fly at super speeds in zero gravity. But there are 100,000 dust particles in a cubic kilometer of space. If a ship, moving at light speed, 300,000 kilometers per second, collides with one of these particles, a catastrophe will occur. Even if the speed is half the speed of light, the force of hit in a collision will be equal to the energy of two atomic bombs. The spacecraft Challenger was damaged when a piece of paint hit the window. But an even bigger problem is acceleration, deceleration and direction changes at light speeds. Astronauts will experience heavy overstrains, that the vessels in their eyes will immediately burst, then they will lose consciousness and die in a matter of seconds, then the ship will simply be torn apart. It is impossible to travel in our universe at light speeds. These travels would take millions of years, and no flesh could survive in these flights. The belief that life exists on other planets is a modern religion based on science fiction. Real science and the laws of nature are established by God and induce a man to turn on the brain, believe in the Creator and learn theology, the science about immortality.